Hi you guys, um, welcome back. My name is Rika and this is the House of Stitch and Stash. Wow, it's been a long time since I've done a video. I'm a little rusty. I feel rusty. We are in a change of scenery today. We are in my dining room. And actually I've kind of like converted our dining room into my little sewing area because I have both of my machines down here because I was working on um, mass donations. And so, yeah, so I was like, you know what? If I don't do it now, I'm not gonna do it. So, um, hopefully this will not be a long video. And I can get it done in like 30 minutes, hopefully. So, what's been going on? <laughs> um, oh, I guess I should say, um, I have recently checked how many subscribers I've got and um, I, actually got more subscribers from the last time I did a video and so thank you guys for those who uh, oh my gosh my hair recently subscribed and tune in um, if you're new here I hope that you find something that you like and then if you're a returning viewer thank you guys again so much for watching and for continuing to support my channel um, I just been I just had like a really busy couple of weeks and then after that I was in a funk and like I don't know what it is I think it's like a creative person I tend to go in this like cycles where I would be like very into something and then it'll like it's, it like dissipate and then I'll find something else that I you know want to do and so um, yeah I just been working then this week making masks, there were about two, three weeks there um, in the beginning of the whole like, what is it, shelter in place that I did not stitch. So I really thought that with me like not having to do anything anymore and just like staying at home more, that I'll like be more inspired to stitch and that did not happen for me. I actually like spent about about I would say about a week, two weeks that I literally did nothing. And I just like sat on the couch, watched TV, um, and then like talked to friends on Zoom. And yeah, and so I don't really have much stitching to show you all. But um, but yeah, but I was like, I don't know what I said the last time. I don't really watch I rewatch my old videos. I try not to because if I do, I just, I go, oh crap, what the heck, I should not be doing this. And so if I keep rewatching my videos, I get discouraged. So I just don't, I just like, I'm not going to watch any of that. I'm just going to keep on going. And when I do my edits, it's very, very simple. Like I just like, if I have to stand up or the camera dies, those are the only like a few shots that I actually edit. Other than that, I... I don't. I just like whatever. Whatever comes out, comes out. And it is what it is. And so that's it. Um, what else? What else has been going on? Making masks, making bags. My dining room is a mess. Um, I did buy a couple of things at market. I know it's been a while, my gosh, like March. So I think the last time I spoke to you guys was before market. Um, and then now it's going to be um, mania, stitch mania is starting soon um, and I don't have any plans to do mania. I actually think I'm, I actually think I'm going to be doing a monogamous mania this year except for my positivity rule saw with the caterpillar cross stitch and I believe that starts in May. Um, so that is the only thing I'm planning on doing. And I'm going to show you guys my plans for Mania, the project that I'm working on during my whip. So, um, I guess we should start talking about uh, cross-stitching and all that stuff. So, let's begin. First thing first, um, I have a new start. And I decided that I'm just going to go, I think what it was is like, none of my whips were inspiring me. Even though I really want to finish, and I think this is probably what it is. I wanted to finish, but then uh, none of my whips were inspiring me. Even though they're all beautiful, but it's just like not speaking to me enough. And so then I decided to have a new start, and I saw this long dog sampler. 
which is um, so gorgeous. I I think I own one other long dog sampler pattern, but I've never stitched long dog sampler before. I have also never stitched um, like one color. And so this is like my only time that I'm, well not only time, I think I'm actually I'm actually very happy and addicted to it now. So um, this is my new star. This is called I think I think you pronounce it Pavane, Pavane. I don't know, but it's P A V A N E. Um, this is how it looks like. Maybe it's better this way if I go. Okay, no. So it's, I'm stitching it on just 28 count white Monaco that I got in a couple of like months, years ago from um, Michaels. Then uh, Monaco is a DMC fabric. It's basically even weave. So I just picked like white Monaco and I love it. And I'm also using Dinky Dye and the color that I chose is Blue Iris. Precious Blue Iris. I actually, what I actually did was I emailed um, Kathy of Dinky Dyes and I just kind of asked her what would you recommend for blues because it's a little bit harder to determine colors when you're just looking at online. And so she gave me a couple suggestions, but this one was like, she said, this is, this is probably my choice. My first choice is Blue Iris. And then there's like two, three, four more colors that she picked for me. And this, I agree, this was the, the look that I'm going for because it matches my um, my China, which is actually somewhere over there. I can show you guys later. So, and my shirt. But I'm into blue and white. I love blue and white. I just feel like it's classic. Um, it's timeless. And I've really been enjoying this. Um, this is only like five days worth of stitching. I've been trying to stitch about 200 stitches each day um before i go to bed to just inspire me to just stitch something so i like this i don't have to think about color changes just one color i'm using how many um how many so i, I also asked kathy because i don't i didn't know how many meters there are of the thread per skein and so i asked her how many if i stitch this but the pattern has uh, recommendations or at least it has like a number of how many meters you're going to need per um, fabric count but I wanted to do the 28 count because I wanted to make it fairly big because I like big big pieces anyway I you know I feel like if I'm going to stitch something I wanted to like have it in my house and hang it in my house and so um, yeah so just what I decided to do and I think I've gotten 14 skeins of um, dinky dyes so they're quite pricey because it's silk but let me tell you stitching in silk is just it's just so nice it lay, lay flat it's just it, it stitches so beautifully so for my funky quarantine stitching this was really good to get me back into stitching again so I'm super excited I can't wait to show more progress so that's why I was thinking about um, actually doing this piece for um, Mania. So I was thinking one color, one piece, like I said, except for the Caterpillar cross stitch style, which shouldn't take too long of my time. That's it. I'm not doing any other Mania plans this year. I did. I tried to do Mania last year. It just didn't do. I didn't do too well on it. And so I got distracted by shiny objects and I'm hoping I don't get distracted too much this year. So um, yeah, that is it you guys. Pavane, I think it's just how you say it, Pavane, Pavane. Um, and then also I did mention that I was using my Pattern Keeper app for this piece. And um, actually like, so Pattern Keeper, hang on, let me go get my tablet, okay. So remember a couple of, um, well, a couple of weeks ago, I guess a couple, like like around uh, February, this is what I asked for for Valentine's Day from my husband. And um, finally got the chance to start actually using it. And really, so Pattern Keeper is really meant, for me, in my opinion, meant for um, hay, like full coverage pieces. 
and it's more compatible in that kind of stitching. But um, it does read Long Dog Sampler PDF. The only thing is this pattern under this app, it doesn't um, read back stitching. So um, you just kind of have to kind of look into your PDF once in a while for you to like check to see if you're doing it correctly. And then you'll have to manually kind of put the colors or the legends. But it wasn't a problem for me because, I mean, this is one color, one piece. It wasn't too bad. So I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you can see it. But this is like how it looks like on the pattern. So um, you can uh, pretty much highlight. And I like the fact that you basically pick the legend. And um, I still use Goodreader on my iPad. But this one, I feel like... Um, I have more control on picking the legend for the color. So um, I also put in a, uh, a hate in this piece. And so let me see if I can go there. Um, I'm still learning this app. Um, so bear with me. So I, I know I had people ask me about um, my opinion on it or like do a uh, or answer more questions about this app. And so this is my this is my hey this is the uh, and, and you're able to see I'm, I mean I'm gonna try and see if I can show okay can you guys see it's draw it's pretty bright on the screen but on the side here you can see the legends and it has um, it designates the legend for the pattern so yeah so it's very much like and you click a legend it tells you it kind of populates all of the um, leg all of the color that has a legend in the whole piece, so it's good for you not to miss a stitch if you're do doing a hay. Um, so I really enjoy it. I think it's worth the price. I think there's a seven day trial on this app, and then after that you have to purchase it. And I think it was fourteen dollar one time purchase. But I really think if you're doing a full full coverage piece and you have a tablet. Um, this is a good um, app. Um, it's very helpful. Also, it also tells you how many stitches you've done today and then how many more stitches you have to do. Like, um, it tells you on the side how many stitches are in the actual project and then the percent of it. So, yeah, it's really good. Really like it. Been enjoying it. Um, this app is only available on Samsung and uh, Android tablets. So if you have a Kindle and then if you have a Samsung, um, you can have the the um, the app. The only thing is, if you do the Kindle way, you have to do an extra step, and I don't really know what that is. Um, but there's plenty of people who have answered um, questions in regards to this app on the. Facebook group and so I would suggest that if you are into the market for one or if you're looking into it um, Join the group on Facebook on the on Facebook and I'm pretty sure it's just pattern keeper and um, Someone already probably answered some of your questions There's also a couple of videos already on on YouTube that you can look into about the app but if you'd like for me to show you more in depth of like how I um, like how I uploaded those two patterns I have on here, my long dog sampler. Um, let me know and I'm going to try and see if I can record one of those. So, um, yeah, let me show you guys the, but the, oh, by the way, when I do my pictures on, um, on like Instagram and you can see my, 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 my tablet, it's, it's actually me taking the shot from the Dropbox. So every, um, PDF pattern that I have of a cost stitch, I have it on my Dropbox. So I just upload from there and um, and they all it's all like kept in one place. Um, and I like to work with a working copy too. But anyway, so this is what the pattern looks like, the um, long dog sampler by Vane. This is how it's going to be. Um, this is from the Dropbox picture. And this pattern was a PDF file. And then it says on the, I think the thing that actually uh, made me really love this piece is one, it's obviously, it's the blue. It has like ginger jars on here. 
and then it says turn your face to the sun and the shadows fall behind you so i feel like that's so fitting at this uncertain times that we're all having um so love it oh there you go i have a better better way to see it so that is um my um not dog sampler and then also, by the way, I am going to announce the winner of my giveaway of 2,000 subscribers. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, at the end of the video, I asked my husband if he would draw the winner, and he was like, no. And so they didn't manage to convince him to do that. So I'm going to just um, pick a winner at the end of the video. And um, yeah, so um, also worked on let's see like that's probably the most of the like the stitching i've ever did was on that piece and then i also work on persephone by mirabilia and i just kind of work on the skirt part i really thought i would be done by this with, with this piece by now but it's proving to be a little bit more difficult than i thought or at least i just i'm not motivated i need motivation and i just don't have one of those so I've just been, at least I'm still sewing bags, at least. So I'm like trying to tell myself I need to sew as much bag as I can before we are moved. And yeah, by the way, excuse my nails. I obviously, I think I am part of the rest of the whole entire world that, that our nails are so bad because I haven't had, all the nail salons are still closed here where I live. So anyway, so we're not gonna go super duper close on Rika's nails because it's disgusting. Also, um, I'm sure the monthly someone will ask me about these little things that I have here. These are called spools with a Z. And they're basically thread keepers for embroidery threads. You know, so it doesn't unravel. Um, so yeah, you can buy from Amazon, like a whole entire pack. It's not very expensive at all. I think like a hundred, I don't know, a hundred of those are like 12 bucks maybe. They're not that, that expensive. And then I also worked on my 12 Days of Christmas by Nora Corbett. I'm still on 5 Days of Christmas. Um, this is what I worked on. So it's a part of the right over here with the rings and then the bows. So with Joanne's being closed, um, I have actually was really wanting to work on my Garden Prelude by Mirabilia and I feel like I finally found a conversion for it but I'm missing a thread and so until I can see this thread in person I can't uh, do the stitching on it because I'm gonna stick with the FC and don't try to think of anything fancy also I have another new start I think I don't know if I've, I've shown this to you guys but this is um, Plum Street Samplers. It's called the American Sampler. This is how it looks like. Like this. Focus. Um, and I'm stitching it on coloring cotton. Um, it is vanilla, a 28 count. Um, I've really been enjoying this too. Um, this was my bring to doctor's appointment kind of stitching because all I have to do is pretty much sometimes color in the colors and yeah so I'm using all called for threads however I didn't account to the fact that I'm stitching it on a 28 count and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to order more of the threads because I'm running low on some of them so I'm gonna need to look into this um, it's in one of my bags. This is a House of Stitch and Stash project bag. Um, this is all sold out, unfortunately. There you go. Um, I love this. This was like a... I can't believe I found a really good patriotic um, fabric to put my patriotic projects in. So really enjoy this. Love this bag so much. So yeah, also this is also one of my bags as well. Um, this was a Christmas theme. Um, all my bags are 16 by 16 in size and they have um, 
handles. Also, if you have also known, I've also stopped doing um, pre-orders and so now I'm only doing ready to ship items and with um, trying to pretty much limit my outdoor activity, I've only been trying to go to the post office once a week. So there are a bit of a delay on my shipments, um, but they are ready and so uh, and done when you order a bag. So you're still waiting, but not as long as it used to be. Also, I decided, oh my gosh, this was like way back in the day when I started making bags, this project bag of mine. Um, also worked on Little House Neighborhood. Um, this is uh, yeah, Little House in the Neighborhood by Little House in the Works. Also work on this a little bit. And um, I'm using the color, um, I saw a, uh, a sample, like um, a store sample in at Keepsakes when I went to Stitch Cobb last year. And I saw they had their own conversion and so I've tried to kind of get the threads that I like. Um, so I work on some of the tree over here and I know I miscounted on this but I'm just gonna keep going and it's gonna be okay. So that's, oh my mom more, hang on. Um, also worked on dimensions, my dimensions. Okay, I work on my dimensions. I need to put more time into it. One of my clay by Kim um, dragons, love it. Um, this is how she looks like now. I worked on her hair, so I tried my best to finish her hair. Won't focus. Yeah. Um, so I need to work on her actually. Now that I'm looking at it and looking at how much I have done on this piece I do need to put more time I also work on her um, shoulders in this area this area and um, yeah so I should put her back on my things to do so that's it also speaking of which because we I kind of mentioned StitchCon um, everybody knows already that StitchCon has been canceled officially for this year, which is a bummer, but totally understandable with, you know, with what's going on right now in the world. And, um, but la but next year, I'm pretty sure Steph and Pam, Pam and Steph, have mentioned this on their channel already about um, what they're doing for next year, which is they're doing two um, weekends of StitchCon, basically back to back. So I was like, maybe I should just like stay the whole entire week. <laughs> but I really, I'm, I'm planning on going, so I'm gonna try and, and since the, this year it's a no go, um, maybe next year will be a um, a better time, and then I'll get to meet more of you all. So um, yeah, that's it for my whips, and um, at least is what I think what I've been working on. Um, and then now I guess we're 24 minutes in, and I always think oh, I'm not gonna say anything on this video, and then here we are. Um, 24 minutes in, um, so I do have a bit of a haul, um, actually let me go in and grab the other stuff. So, uh, market haul for me, just like everybody else, well first of all I've got this one, this is the Plum Street Sampler Sweetheart Hill, it really called to me, um, obviously because it says I belong with you. And Maybe I would stitch it. He's over there already. So um, it, I bought all the the for threads already um, included in this piece. So that's one of those and things fell on the floor. Also got just like all of us, we all were inspired by this wonderful uh, pattern from Little House Needleworks. It is uh, Kringles. I've got um, all the called for 
threads except for the DMC in the Agua, is it Agua Silk? Agua, Agua Sua, Agua Sua. I think that's how you say it. Um, that's the only one I'm missing from these, but I think it's gold. So I'm going to look into it and see if I could just substitute something else for it. I also don't know what I want to do for the fabric. I thought about doing um, PTP gingerbread and crystal because I really wanted to have like that crystal -y effect. Because Christmas to me is, if you're, I feel like most of my Christmas projects have like the opalescent um, fabric. So um, yeah, I would probably maybe start this, maybe. <laughs> I don't know when, um, hopefully someday. And then I also picked up Tiny Modernist. This is my very first Tiny Modernist pattern. Um, it is called Unicorn Tapestry. It's so cute. I love it. Um, love the colors. And I just need to get fabric. And I think it calls for DMC. Yeah, it's only it's only DMC, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Also got um, sewn sewn in friendship by Plum Street Samplers, and this is actually um, a set. So you can see um, it's those two patterns, and then you combine it together, it forms like a big long piece. So that's super cute. <coughs> got this hands on design. Well rounded perennials. Um, I really like this bigger like patterns like this. So like and I feel like you get more you know, for your buck. Um, so really cute. I thought about um, pulling some of these for like small exchange for this year, but it seems like um, a ton of like retreats are getting cancelled, so you never know. Also picked up this collaborative uh, pattern from Summer House Stitch Works, Ink Circles, and Hands on Design. And this is called Needles Dance. Love the color. I think it's gorgeous. And so, I think I love the fabric. I just, see, I love blue. I'm into blues lately. Like, anything blue, I'm like, yes, yeah, sign me up. Also got... Um, this spring edition punch needle, I haven't even opened it yet. It's, I kind of just stuck it in this little bag and, you know, I got this one, um, counted cloth counter, costage key from Fat Quarter Shop. If it will focus. Um, it has a way for you to like do your border, how many um, corner, a corner guide, and then a cloth, cloth counter, a ruler, and a reference guide. So very handy. Got that. I was showing you guys this fabric. So I got this fabric for my um, Lady and the Unicorn uh, kit because I have the red. And so then I'm thinking, because I really like a terracotta color that Luda has. And so then, but I think I bought the wrong count. So I think this is actually too big. It's 25. And I think the pattern calls for 27. So I don't know how much of a difference it's going to be, but it's really massive. It's even weave. It's a discontinued fabric color from Zweigart. So, um... Yeah, I'm kind of in defense. Maybe I should buy a 28 count, um, but it's, maybe that might be a little bit closer to the original fabric. So I'm gonna have to put it side by side. I haven't actually done that yet because, you know, I'm not into stitching lately. <laughs> so anyway, then I got, um, I, I'm pretty sure I have more of her fabric, but it's upstairs. So V Stitch Me. She's very new to me. I saw uh, Colleen of Stitching with a Sister D, or is it Cheryl? I think both of them actually. They've been ordering from her, and so I decided to try her um, fabric. And her opalescent colors are. I don't 
wonder, I, hmm, I don't know. It's definitely different. This is an opalescent. It's called vanilla, um, vanilla latte on a 32 count. And then she gave me like a, another um, small, like little, um, I don't know how many, um, how much, how much, how, how the size, but it's like a, it's like a small little piece of sea glass as I guess a thank you. I know she does giveaways um, as well on Fridays when you buy a, a, a fabric from her. So um, yeah, I haven't used her fabric yet, but a lot of people are happy with it. I don't know yet. Um, my verdict is still up there. So I'll let you know if I do. Then I got um, this fabric for the needle dance, but I don't think it's blue enough. I don't know. I don't think it's blue enough like how it was on the pattern. Like, see how this is really bright blue. That's not. So, I might have to buy another fabric. It's not a really big piece, so it's really small. We'll see though. We will see. I don't know. That's kind of like a waste. That is not the same. And I also picked up the threads for Needle Dance too. So I kitted it up. I got it from Ye Old Stitchery in Pennsylvania. They're based in Pennsylvania. And then I picked up um, Star Spangled. Star Spangled. Uh, Spectacular by um, with tiny doll and threads, so very cute. Love that piece. Then I got a pattern from um, Hello from Liz Matthews. Well, it's, I didn't get from from Liz, but um, it's Bowerbird. This is one of her more popular design. If you guys would see it, because it's like has glare and let me see. Is that better? My lighting is not that good because the, there you go. Maybe, maybe. The, so like the sun is about to set. Maybe I'm better. Can you see this? No. That's even worse. But it, trust me, it's gorgeous. I like that she picked um, this gray fabric, which I now think would sterling or what is what is that sterling? What is that fabric I just got from um, um, coloring cotton might be perfect for this. So maybe. And then let's see. I got uh, quality things because I really wanted to do some cool thing. My derby house. More of the pattern came and. Um, I'm thinking about starting this very soon, but I need to starch the fabric. I don't know, but maybe I should hold off until after we move so I don't lose anything. What do you guys think? Undecided. Got that. Then my subscription for Fat Quarter Shop Soul Sampler Monthly Box came. And I love this fabric line. This is by Bonnie and Camille. It has the Jolly Bar, um, and I'm pretty sure Jolly Bar is a Fat Quarter exclusive cut. And then in in here, it has all of these, um, like it says, you're invited. Um, yeah, you're invited, there we go. It's a little bright. And it has um, the following items, scallops and waves quilting template, which is right here. Um, it has the actual pattern. It has a beeswax thread conditioner. Thread conditioner. Um, Alpha Bitties expansion pack in gray. This is nice. Um, these are like, you kind of put it on top of your, um, there you go, of the, of the, like, your piecing so you don't miss it or you kind of keep up with everything. And um, the pattern. And 
this is the Garden Gala pattern. So, this is how it looks like. Very cute. And it also comes with a new stitch along that they're doing called Greatest Hits. So, yeah. Um, that is it for this. Um, I do like this one. Last month was like Tula Pink, which I also love that one. And very pleased. And then I also got this. I don't know why. I don't have time. But it calls to me because you all know we're patriotic. So let me see. Much better? Yeah, a little bit better. Um, this is by Fig Tree and Company. It's their new quilt kit. Um, the size is 58 by 71 when it's done. And it's called Catalina. And I'm pretty sure this is very a new release. It just came out. Um, so everything that you need is inside the box. Comes like that. Very pretty, huh? I do like when, like, quilt gets our package, so then you can keep all your things in the box. Because the boxes are very sturdy. So, that's it. Uh, I also got the Kimberbell uh, new quilt, as well as the spools by Tola Pink. They're all upstairs. Already, like, 40 minutes in, and, um, I always think I'm not gonna say anything. This video is gonna be so short. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about because I have nothing to say. And then it's 40 minutes later and here we are. But anyway, um, that's it you guys for my um, update. Let me, however, um, let me tell you guys about um, my plans. <laughs> so I mentioned already Stitch Mania would be, um, what do you call that? Would this be one one choice of um, pattern and thread? And that's it. Hang on. While I'm doing this, let me hold please. Let me go. Let's go ahead and pick the winner for the giveaway for the Lowry, not Lowry stand, the Elan lap stand. And uh, if you're the winner, all you have to do is message me and. Um, I, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and order from the actual uh, manufacturer and then have it straight shipped to you so you there's no wait time so because if you if I, I just realized this okay about myself if I do the giveaway it's a little hard for me I always forget to get, to get it to the post office if, if, if I have the item but if I just just do the ordering and then it goes straight to you then that might be a better route for this giveaways and stuff so let me go and pull the comment and um, let me get back and I'm gonna do a little random comment picker. Okay, okay I picked another winner and then, oh, well, the first winner, but um, none of the comment actually said about um, how this person found me. And so then I had to pick another winner. And so now um, the winner is Janet Compare or Compare, Compare. Uh, what she said was congratulations on your subscriber count i found you through the recommendations your project bags are beautiful so congratulations janet just um message me um your um you got her instagram message me but i feel like sometimes i get lost in there so what i'll do is i'm gonna leave my email address down below and you can email me your information and um, we will go from there. Um, hopefully you're not international because then we're gonna have to figure out a way to get you your um, your your prize. Um, so email me um, and we will discuss. So any congratulations. Thank you everybody who commented. There were 120 unique commenters and um, I really appreciate you all answering. It really made me or had have an idea of where you guys are coming from. A lot of you actually mentioned 
YouTube recommendations. And so um, that's really interesting. So I appreciate you guys and um, thank you once again. As far as um, floss, tube, floss tubers that I've been watching, um, it's always the same people. I haven't really changed anybody. Um, Colleen and Cheryl are always going to be one of those. Rocio and Gaspacho, um, who are all living a quarantine life in the Bahamas. There could be worse places to get, you know, to, to be um, sheltering in place. But I understand that she, Rocio is going crazy because she wants to get her stitchy haul in San Antonio. And so anyway, um, who else have I been watching? Uh, Snug Harbor Crafts. Um, the girls. Um, congratulations to Kefi. Oh my gosh, she has a big announcement on her channel. If you haven't seen it, go watch Snug Harbor Crafts. Debbie and Kef are wonderful people and I hope that uh, all of these COVID-19 um, um, situation the pandemic we're in would be over by October so that we can all um, visit you all in Utah. And then who else have I been watching? Trying to think, Snug Harbor. Pat and Steph are always up there. Kia B, uh, Nathan and Kia. I've been watching them too. Um, I haven't really done a lot of floss tubers lately. I need to. Like I said though, I'm in a funk. But I think once, once I'm getting back into it, like today I feel a little bit much better about like stitching and, and, and getting back into things. Um, I, think, I think I will be okay. But anyway. Um, so that's it for today you guys thank you guys again for watching I hope that you all are staying healthy and staying safe and I just actually show you guys I made a mask for myself but I it's too big so I'm gonna have to redo it but it has like really cute pattern of like little dogs so um, yeah things that I I've been doing um, that's it so until next time, I will talk to you guys then and um, happy stitching. Bye for now.